Welcome back to our next Big Idea Roundtable discussion presented by Addison Magazine. I am Sam Nicholson, your moderator. Yeah, when, I, when you first invited me to do this, I, my, my thought went to branding and how do you brand the area. It, it, in my mind, you have to think beyond the borders of Addison as we think about trying to build a brand for this, this area. And I think these guys are onto it and what they're doing at, at Valley View and with the, with the Midtown brand. I think when you think about areas of Dallas, you think of Preston Hollow. Preston Hollow is a brand. Uh, Uptown is a brand. Um, and, and we're in a kind of a unique location because where, where a lot of different municipalities kind of come together, the, the lines of, of each one of those boundaries are a little bit oddly shaped. And so my, my thought has been, if you, if you think about, you say, say roughly you think about an area from Marsh to the west, Beltline to the north, uh, Preston Road to the east, and, and 635 to the, to the south, how do you brand that larger area into something that would be meaningful in the, in the DFW public? Um, uh, the two most active development markets in, in the Metroplex right now are in Frisco and in Uptown. Well, our location is at the 50-yard line between those two. And so if you think of the quadrant of the tollway in 635 is kind of the, the hub of the North Dallas financial opportunities, how do you leverage that? How do you play on that as a bigger brand? And I know each one of the municipalities works hard on their brand. Addison works very hard on their brand. They do a really good job of farmers branch. Works hard on their brand. But how can you how can you leverage that to a degree with these partners that tend to work well together anyway, these city partners that tend to work well together anyway, and create something that might be bigger and more attractive. And that's that's one of the reasons to mm -hmm. to your point that um you know, we're, we've been so diligent at branding mm -hmm. an area, Dallas Midtown. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you've got Uptown and you've got Midtown, um, you know, to your point, when we're talking to people in, uh, in New York and, mm -hmm. and in Europe with regard to, to financing and those things, they, they certainly, uh, they have to be educated mm -hmm. just in terms of where you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the, uh, the only lightning rod for people that have come to the DFW Metroplex and aren't in the downtown Dallas, you say, have you ever been to the Galleria Mall, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to orient people as to where they where they even are geographically. Certainly, I mean, that's it's not a a insurmountable problem. Obviously, we've got billions of dollars worth of uh, worth of development in Addison and in North Dallas and all these other areas. But I think if you if you want to look at it macroscopically, I think identifying via brand and working with the different communities around to try to figure out what that cohesive brand can be certainly is, is important. And I think from a redevelopment standpoint, it's important too. I mean, I think Farmers Branch, for example, may want to, you know, do something with the old Dalmac office complex there around the Luby's off of, off of Midway. It's so low density, right? right? Lots of surface parking. And so there may be a time where it makes sense to redo that. Well, if that's, if, if the development community and investment community thinks that's part of something bigger, uh, I, I think it. I, I think it. I think it helps. I think it makes it more attractive. One of the things that kind of lends itself, from a government standpoint, Tom, to what your suggestion and branding suggestion is, uh, we're seeing, and thankfully, Addison's been one of the leading uh, municipalities in this regard, or, or finding ways to work cooperatively with the other municipalities. And for instance, this year by December, we hope to open our new combined dispatch and radio center where Carrollton Farmers Branch and Addison will be working cooperatively on a centralized dispatch and radio system mm -hmm. instead of having three, mm -hmm. so less expense uh, and frankly more efficiency and a higher level of service. That's a rarity in government mm -hmm. where you can actually maybe save some exactly. money and get better service. That yeah. doesn't happen very often. So we're excited about that. And that lends itself at least indirectly mm -hmm. towards a, a more uh, regional or at least uh, <clears throat> community-wide kind of brand where these entities are working together. What pulls the other way is each of these communities are uh, have a high pride level 
some Greek ego level, that they want to be successful, independent of each other, and they have separate tax base and separate, separate political constituencies, and they pull a little bit differently. So that's kind of the challenge in creating a brand that overlays those communities in some way that effectively attracts that investment dollar. Well, that's a yeah. great example, especially if it works. Sure. Right. Do an, an attention that look what Addison, look what they did, and it works, and here we're just, you know, shelling out money. <clears throat> and, and I'm not sure you can <clears throat> ever wholly get away from the competitive nature of it, too. If there's a 100,000-foot office tenant coming into the market, both of the towns are going to want to compete for that. Mm -hmm. I, I get that. But I do think that both towns could benefit from a greater identity if it was... Because, again, I mean, if you, look, you just look at a map of the, the boundaries of each of these cities, it's, it's you know, the, the, you know, it's sure. irregular. Uh, for, for lack of a better term. And, uh, <laughs> well, and, yeah. a nice well the go. value of what you're saying, <clears throat> we're all experiencing the benefit of it, and mm -hmm. that's being in Texas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Texas has been the beneficiary of over 50% of the jobs created in the last five years in the mm -hmm. country. They're mm -hmm. here. So the bigger Texas brand, if you will, has mm -hmm. been very effective yeah, in no, generating no the kind of economic mm -hmm. conditions that we have that no are question. really very different than other parts of the country. One of the benefits we have, you know, it's a regional chamber you know, led by uh, Dale Petrowski. Right. And I think it's real interesting, you know, you even look like at a Toyota, right? Where's the first place that they came when they came to exactly. Dallas? They went to him because he's going to tell about all of the different right. areas as opposed to just one or the other. Right. Uh, because the most important thing is those businesses come here because we're all going to see the benefit of it no matter which municipality that you're in. <clears throat> and so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm certainly delighted to hear, you know, the, the working together just even of the, of the three municipalities that are neighboring that you mm -hmm. just talked about, and then certainly kind of combine Dallas in that, which is kind of its own, its own organism. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, I think that's fantastic. It is. Thank you for watching our next Big Idea Roundtable discussion presented by Addison, the magazine of the North Dallas Corridor here at the Addison Treehouse. Uh, we want to hear from you guys. We want to hear what your opinions are on the matters. Uh, please feel free to comment on our YouTube page, um, our Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Um, and check out addisonmagazine.com for more great ideas.